And let's go to Anna Zion right now for a check of the forecast. But one thing we forgot about is, uh, the, is it the Canyon County Fair? The Canyon County Fair. It starts today. Yes. How about that? Yeah, kind of, mm, you know, iffy timing. We have the really hot weather. But, oh, yeah. you know, if you can get out and about, enjoy the fair. Just taking those precautions, making sure you're staying hydrated and everything because we're looking at triple digit temperatures for the next couple of days, kind of ov overlapping with the Canyon County Fair. So just definitely make sure you're taking those precautions against heat related illness. We're seeing triple digit temperatures across the Treasure Valley and I mean continuing to warm up. We're not seeing that 102 as much anymore except for Mountain Home, not seeing really 101 in the Treasure Valley. But most areas of the state, we're going to continue to see some patchy smoke from those wildfires kind of north of Stanley, the Moose Fire, right around Salmon. In the East Central Mountains, though, we're expecting some thunderstorms today. So definitely something to keep in mind there. Maybe not the day to head to Stanley and, you know, have a day on Redfish Lake or anything like that. But in the Magic Valley, Twin Falls might hit the triple digits today. They've been hanging out right around 98, 99 for the last few days. Might see that 100 degrees for today. And like I said, patchy smoke continuing across the state, and we're actually going to see some heavier smoke in the Treasure Valley than what we've been seeing coming our way from the Moose Fire this morning. So if you look outside this morning, it's looking a little hazier than it has been. That's why. And of course, these temperatures were still under that heat advisory in the Treasure Valley. But one thing that has changed from yesterday, right here, right around Ontario, that pink color that you see, that is now an excessive heat warning because you saw that, you know, that part of the Treasure Valley, we're seeing 107, 108 degrees for today. That's why. Now, another change from yesterday, these areas in red here, that is a red flag warning for the East Central Mountains in part because of those thunderstorms that we're expecting. And here's a better look at what exactly to expect with them. It's coming this evening, so this morning, this afternoon should be pretty safe for any outdoor activities. But right around, this is a look at about 6 p.m. And we see that green, that yellow, even a little bit of that orangey red color. So that's some heavier rain and the possibility of some lightning and thunder. So if you might even see a little bit of flash flooding, there is that chance anytime that we have that heavier rain. So especially if that's where you're waking up today or you're headed that way today, keep that in mind. And it'll be back again tomorrow evening. So uh, just kind of be prepared for, for that rain over the next couple of days in that area. Back here in the Treasure Valley, we're looking at 104 degrees for today. And then we're continuing to warm up as we head towards the weekend. Looking at 106 on Sunday, that's our peak of this heat wave. We should not get hotter than that after Sunday. Of course, you know, yesterday it was looking like Sunday we might see 107. Now it's looking like 106. As we get closer, we'll keep you updated on just how hot it's going to get on Sunday. But the good news is the thing that is not changing Monday. That's when we're looking to cool down. And I know 99 degrees, that's not much of a cool down, but it does get better. Look at Tuesday, 94. And then even by the time we get to Wednesday, that 92 degrees, I mean, look forward to the temperatures in the low 90s for the rest of this week when we're just experiencing these really hot temperatures.